Welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. If you're wanting to know what God's will for you today and every day, friends, it is to give thanks to the Lord in all situations. Friends, we have to be grateful for most our salvation. We are blessed beyond measure, friends, when we have the Lord Jesus Christ with us. Yes, there are circumstances in, in life, friends, that will be so depressing. Yet, if you consider what you have already received, Jesus Christ, well, these are nothing because it's through the Lord Jesus Christ that you can overcome them all. All the problems, all the issues that you are facing in life, friends, you can overcome them if you have the Lord Jesus Christ. And therefore, there is a good reason for us to wake up in the morning and be, give, be giving thanks to God for all that will come our way, whether good or bad. Because we have foremost the Lord, our Savior. Amen. And friends, that is the reason why we can give thanks in all circumstances. We have someone that will help us overcome them all. Yes, we shall be able to navigate life here on earth, very challenging life. But we shall be victorious at the end because Jesus is with us. He will guide us through. He will lead us through. Therefore, friends, count your blessings every day. Yes, there are challenges that will come. But these are nothing compared to what is yet to come. There is a great deliverance that will come and more blessings that will come. If only we are grateful. Therefore, friends, give thanks to God. Amen. He loves us. He cares about us. There are distractions that will come. But these are only to distract us in our walk with the Lord. See, the devil knows that we are holding on to our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And he will come to distract us. And it's up to us, friends, to be distracted or not. If we allow him to overcome us, then we are the loser. But if we just give thanks in that particular situation that we're in, then Jesus will come to sustain us because we are thanking him for our salvation. And therefore, friends, he will prove himself to be strong on our behalf. He will prove himself to be our savior and he will come to our aid. Therefore, don't lose hope. Don't lose heart. Just be grateful for another day that the Lord has given you. So when you woke up this morning, were you grateful that you have another day to enjoy life? Well, be grateful, friends. You know why? Someone somewhere did not wake up today. But you have this life. Are you in pain? Just be grateful. For as long as you are holding on to your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, He will come to relieve you and help you and heal you. Amen. Yes, we shall be tested in many ways. But the Lord will make a way out for us if we just endure in our faith in Him. But if we yield to, to temptations, if we yield uh, to the works of the wicked one, then we shall be the loser in the end. And therefore, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might, and you shall be a victor at the end of the day. Friends, when you go to bed tonight, just look back to what the Lord has done to you throughout this day. And you can just be thankful, friends, for another day that he had given you to enjoy life. And there is a good reason for you to look forward for tomorrow again. Because there will be another opportunity tomorrow for you to enjoy life. Therefore, give thanks to the Lord in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And lift up his countenance and give you his shalom, his peace. God bless. See you again. Bye.